Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome once again to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you that how you can actually run your Python scripts uh, on Wim and how you can configure Wim to be your Python IDE. Okay, so first of all, uh, what we have to do is we have to have Wim. Okay, so if you don't know how to install Wim, go back, watch our previous videos. If you don't know how to install plugins, uh, we have created that video um, on, on plugins as well. You can go back and you can watch all those videos. Uh, and if you don't know about WIMRC that we're going to use, uh, you also need to go back and watch the video. So I'm going to put the link in the description to all those videos. Make sure you watch all of them and then you come to this video. Okay. So first of all, what we're going to do that we are basically going to configure our a Wim RC file so that it could become um, our Wim editor. It could become a Python IDE. Okay. So what we're gonna do is that first of all, uh, let let me just open up my terminal by pressing Control Alt T. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit, and now uh, I would move to my desktop. So after moving to my desktop, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write here. Uh, Wim, and then I'm gonna write here program.py. I hit enter and I get inside of my uh, Wim editor. But right now you can see that I I do not see um, any auto suggestions or any sign of this being a Python IDE. So for example, if I try to remove this equal sign, let me just edit it first. And if I remove this equal sign, there is no error here and nothing tells me that what's going to happen and if there is an error in this file or not. Because this Python, um, this Wim, uh, excuse me, this Wim editor is right now, it is not a Python IDE. So that's what we want to make it, right? So obviously we have to do, we have to um, write something, we have to install some plugins and stuff like that uh, and we need to configure it with Wim, uh, Wim RC file uh, so that when we open our Wim editor uh, it is configured. So what we can do is there are basically two fundamental ways either you put that Wim RC configuration all of that inside this file and that would be only one time or you can actually paste and put all that configuration um, inside the other file okay and the Wim uh, WimRC file and from there it would take care of it and whenever you will open up uh, this Wim editor you would see all those changes forever okay until and unless you basically uh, delete that WimRC file okay so let me uh, tell you that where you can actually download this file so you can write here win and then you can write here dot then you can write here fiza dev dot com okay so you hit enter and it would basically redirect you to a page that looks like this okay so again we do not own this file we have given you the link uh, in fact we're going to put this link in the description as well and as you can see that this file is free to use uh, so you can uh, literally use it okay so you can go to their github repository and you can download the file from there as well or you can use it right here as well so i'm just going to copy this vim rc file so remember this is a vim rc configuration file okay so uh, if we read here it says a vim configuration for the modern Pythonista plus some other goodies. So basically for Pythons, okay, for, okay, for for Python, this WimRC is configured. So if we scroll down, we can see, okay, some of the screenshots, and in here you can see that it says install the required dependencies. So before we make changes inside the um, basically WimRC file what we have to do is that we have to install these two uh, required dependencies okay so what we do is that we copy it okay 
and uh, we go here to our terminal and let me just come out of it oh, let me just go to the this mode and in here I'm just going to uh, paste the first dependency I hit enter it is going to ask me for the password and let me just do it like this so you can see that I have already installed this dependency so I have this dependency already there in my system so it has not taken a while but when you'll be installing it for the first time it is going to ask you whether you want to install it or not press y or no so in that case you're going to press y okay so let's go let's move ahead and let's go to the second step okay so second step is related to this okay this is the basically second dependency that you need to add okay so you go here you paste it you hit enter and it would install basically your second dependency as well okay okay so once uh, it has installed the second dependency uh, the next step is related to basically uh, download the dot vim rc file okay so now it is talking about basically this download vim rc file so i'm just going to copy it so what i'm going to do is that um, basically i know that my uh, vim rc file is inside my home directory okay so now if i lay here uh, i can see that my vim rc file is right here so in order to open this uh, i'm gonna write here vim dot vimrc and you can see that there are only two lines uh, inside this okay so what i can do i can actually remove these two lines or i can actually add um, stuff right after it okay so here i can basically let's say if i paste all of that so now you can see that all of that uh python file uh ha i have pasted it right here okay and uh, the link to this file would be in the description so you can actually copy it from there all right so now uh basically what you do is that uh, you save it okay so you just press escape you go back to the command mode and you write it and you quit okay so now our vimrc file has been changed and it has been configured so now what we can do is that we can actually go to our desktop and on our desktop we have um you know a file uh, which is essentially uh, program.py right so now we open that program.py which is essentially a python file inside the vim editor so now you can see that now the looks of our vim editor like it is quite different okay so now uh, what we can do is that uh, you can see that we have a lot of warnings it's some sort of indentation problem so now you can see that python um, you know uh, python basically editor has uh you know identified that where we have the problem okay so right now you can see that it says indentation is not a multiple of four okay so it is basically giving us that um, information as well so now let's try to run this code okay so uh, hopefully uh, this code would run uh, i don't think there is a there's much indentation problem according to me indentation is just fine but let's see um, what it shows us okay so we would write here in order to run uh, python you write here colon then you write here exclamation mark you give a space then you write here python and then you write here the file name which is essentially program.py in my case your file name could be different so in that case you would write here your own file name okay so if i hit enter you can see uh, that it says press enter to type a command to continue but you can see here it has run the uh, program okay so it has not given us any error uh, like we are um, actually seeing here so in the vim editor uh, it has basically given us just a simple output right so if we go back if we hit enter and go back to our vim editor 
you can see that here uh, it is giving us some warning on line 13 and here it is giving us some sort of indentation error so let's try to um, fix it um, I think there is an indentation problem um, and other than that if you see here uh, it also gives you auto suggestion of uh, you know writing down commands so else if and else so now basically you can see that our vim editor has been turned into a python ide so you can make different sort of uh, changes as well okay so right now what you can do is that you can give spaces here and you can give spaces here as well um you can give a space here as well so you can try to indent um according to your desire all right so i hope you have got the point and uh, you can see here it is giving you auto suggestions all right so um, let's try to run our code once again so we go here uh, the we put colon we put exclamation mark and then we write here python and then we write here the file name which is essentially program.py and you can see that we have the same output so it says no write since last change okay so that's how you can run as many python files as you want now your vim editor has become your python development integration development environment okay so i hope you have got the point you have learned something new from today's video uh the the commands and the link uh to fiza dev i'm gonna put that in the description for written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com and i will see you in the next video